So Scientology wants to clear the planet. And clearing the planet means making everybody go clear. So what is going clear? Well, going clear is realizing that you create your own reactive mind. So now you stop doing it. So now you're clear. So is it all solved? It's like saying, I realize that eating too much and not exercising makes me fat. So now I'm not going to do it anymore. Really? Are you sure, dude? Are you sure that this intellectual realization is really going to make a difference? And that's what gets me a little skeptical about this whole going clear thing. Because Scientology says they're all about clearing the reactive mind and clearing the planet. Well, number one, they don't want you to know that phrase that I just said, I realize that I've been creating my reactive mind the whole time, and now I'm not doing it anymore. Or they would say, I've been mocking up my reactive mind the whole time and I'm not doing it anymore. So if it's so important for the whole planet to go clear, why don't you just tell everybody the secret? The clear cognition. That people have to pay usually around $50,000 to make that statement in a session and be declared clear. But from what I hear, when they do make that statement in a session and they go clear, they don't even know what they said right. They don't even know what they did correctly. So, what the hell's going on? Number one, I agree that if people got rid of their reactivity, it would be better. But, number one, reactivity is not a mental thing. It's an emotional thing. And emotional things are held in the body as well as the mind. And number two... Scientology is really about suppressing your emotions and pretending to not be reactive and being punished if you show a certain reactivity. So it's not really about true emotional processing. Emotional processing takes a lot more empathy and caring and emotional intelligence. And Scientologists don't have that. They don't value that at all. They only value anything emotional if it gets them closer to their goals of taking your money. And so one of the things that Scientology doesn't want you to know is their theory about Xenu and the body thetans, how this intergalactic warrior, blah, 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 created a bunch of interdimensional space demons that continue to infest our bodies to this day. And only if you get to the top, maybe five or ten percent of Scientologists, and only after you've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, are you able to find out this amazing truth. But long before you get to that level, you have to go clear. And going clear, according to Aaron Smith Levin, going clear is actually, or the clear cognition, to put it more accurately, is actually more secret than Xenu. So it's because there's a lot more people paying the 50 grand to go clear than the two or three or four hundred thousand 
to find out about the space demons that are attached to your body that you need to spend years to clear. So anyway, the reactive mind is a concept for people like Scientologists that are not very emotionally connected, that are not really encouraged or allowed to live in a world of emotion. They are cult members, and they look like it with their glassy eyes. And the thing is, if you were really clear of your reactivity, you wouldn't need to be all glassy-eyed. You wouldn't need to be defensive. And you wouldn't be pissed off at all if somebody discourages you from being a Scientologist or even ridicules your beliefs. You can see from Scientologists they are afraid to have conversations with non-Scientologists. They cannot explain themselves. They cannot agree to disagree. They have not cleared any reactive mind, body, emotional system, or anything like that. They are suppressing their emotions, thinking that makes them a higher level being. No, it does not. So make sure if you meet a Scientologist who has not gone clear to ask them, have you realized that you've been mocking up your reactive mind the whole time and now you don't have to do it anymore? And if they say no, then say, well, I guess you haven't gone clear yet. And I'm sure they will appreciate it because it will help them go clear, obviously, and it will help the entire planet to reach the awesome levels of L. Ron Hubbard's fantasies, and isn't that what we're all gearing up for, truly? Right? Don't tell me it isn't so, because we know. We all live in the world <laughs> that L. Ron Hubbard left to us, and we bear a, a very strong responsibility to make that world awesome, don't we now? At least I feel I do. It's a very personal responsibility on my part. You know, we wouldn't want to disappoint L. Ron Hubbard, right? That would be tragic. Could you imagine disappointing L. Ron Hubbard? How bad you would feel? Oh my God. Don't ever do it. So anyway, the reactive mind concept. Okay, I get reactivity. Fine. We all need to clear our reactivity. But guess what's not going to do that? Getting interrogated, holding a couple of cans attached to an e-meter, and having some Scientology cult robot ask us a bunch of questions that's really mainly designed to manipulate us out of our cash. At least that's my opinion. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Bye-bye.